Hi everyone and welcome to Protocol 36. Today's video will be speculating if anyone will die in Spider-Man 3 and who it could possibly be. Before I start, I would highly encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already, else I'll be delivering consistent and quality content and to click on the notification bell in order to not miss any of my future videos. Now in the MCU Spider-Man films, not a lot of people have died and all of them has mostly been villains so far. So when we were speculating on who could possibly die, I'm mostly talking about who Peter Parker considers friends or family. As in most Spider-Man films, we have had a pretty significant death when it comes to his loved ones. Spider-Man 1, it was Uncle Ben and Norman Osborn, who even though he was a villain, he was a close father figure to Peter Parker. Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock, even though he was also a villain, he was a close mentor to Peter Parker. Spider-Man 3, Harry Osborn, The Amazing Spider-Man 1, Uncle Ben and George Stacy, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Gwen Stacy. We do see one of Peter Parker's close one die in Avengers Endgame, which is Tony Stark. We didn't really have anyone die in his own film, which isn't a bad thing, other than two villains. Even though the Shocker died in Homecoming, he wasn't a character who was close to Peter Parker. However, in Far From Home, Mysterio was pretty close to Peter. At least when Peter thought he was a good guy. It was clear that his death did affect Peter in some way. But since Spider-Man 3 will mostly be a grounded film and will be the film where Peter Parker's secret identity has been exposed, there will most likely be consequences with what Mysterio did to Peter's life. And one which would make sense being a death. Peter Parker has always kept his secret identity in order to protect his loved ones. Since everyone knows, including his enemies, it would make sense that his loved ones would be in danger, including himself. However, it doesn't mean that the film definitely has to have a death, as in Spectacular Spider-Man Venom also revealed Peter's secret identity, however, nobody died. And it was mostly people trying to figure out the fact that if Venom was actually telling the truth or not, which he was, but Peter was able to make sure that nobody knew his secret identity after he defeated Venom. So let's assume that in Spider-Man 3, somebody will die in that film. I have two theories on who it might be. One being Ned Leeds. Ned Leeds was a character a lot of people were speculating he was going to die in Far From Home, including myself. However, it never turned out to be the case. But if we were going to deliver a serious blow to Peter Parker, I believe that his best friend would be the one to go. As with Ned, a lot of people love the character and not only do a lot of people love the character of Ned Leeds, but also the fact that he's a supportive friend to Peter Parker, both in his normal civilian life and his other life as Spider-Man. So having the death of Ned Leeds would actually make a lot of sense as not only would there be consequences after Far From Home but also the fact that if they were going to introduce Norman Osborn into the MCU in the future it would also make sense to introduce Harry Osborn in the future as well. Obviously I don't think they would introduce Harry in Spider-Man 3 unless I'm wrong but they could introduce him in the future where when they kill off Ned they could pave the way for Harry to come into Peter's life and then to develop that rivalry between Peter Parker and Norman Osborn. Now obviously Ned is a very important person in Peter's life. I'm not suggesting to just replace him all of a sudden but since Peter is going to get a rate out of high school I will most likely go into university or college for you Americans. It would make sense to have something big to happen to Peter before he graduates out of high school and when he gets to college he will have to not only carry that burden but also and try to start something new and it would make sense that not only did the death of Ned Leeds have a massive impact on Peter Parker's life but it would also make sense when they introduce Harry Osborn Peter would be even more secretive to towards him because he knows that the last time he let somebody in they were killed so maybe they could play around that element in the future and the way they would play it out would be very very interesting one other character i believe who could die is also happy hogan happy hogan was another character who peter parker cared about a lot especially in far from home after he gave peter parker the inspiration that he needed with what mr Red did to him and also the death of tony stark telling peter that that the heroes that he looked up to weren't perfect either and that if he's not perfect that's okay but that he has to still try and keep the world safe so having him gone would also be a deadly blow towards peter parker not to mention he's somewhat of a father figure to peter as well after far from home and we know what happens to those who try to fill in that role for peter parker 
Parker. They either end up dead or become villains. Not to mention Happy is also a beloved character as well, especially since the Iron Man franchise. And it would also make sense to pretty much break that link from Iron Man on Spider-Man, which is Happy. And uh, to do that would probably be a death. If I was going to pick which one, I would probably pick Happy because of the fact that it wouldn't be a little too dark to just kill off a teenager like that. However, Disney and Sony aren't afraid to kill off teenagers, so... So will anyone die in Spider-Man 3? I think there's a good chance that somebody could actually bite the dust. It would make a lot of sense to do so. And I also think that there's a good chance that you could either be Happy Hogan or Ned Leeds. But we just have to wait and see. However, what about you guys? Do you think anyone will die in Spider-Man 3? If so, who? Let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. And one more, subscribe. To begin, Protocol 36.